Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing a Frostwire 5.211 tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to download it and some of the new features in it. Um, if you have a previous version of Frostwire installed, there's an easier way to download it. You can open up Frostwire. This is the newest version, but you can open up Frostwire and a little uh, box will come up that asks you if you want to download the new version. And you can just click yes and that's a lot easier than actually uninstalling it or um, then going to the website and getting the new version. Um, so to go to the website and get the new version, you got to open up your browser, come to frostwire.com slash downloads. Um, I'll put that link in the description for you guys. Um, here's all your different operating systems. I'm running Windows, there's Mac, Ubuntu, Linux stuff, whatever. So I'm going to click on Windows and then this will um, take a second. And then when this comes up, you want to just type, you want to click keep. So I actually don't want this because I've already got it. So I'm just going to go right there and click cancel. And um, that'll just take a second to install. Uh, if you don't know how, I'll put a link in the description to another video of mine that will show you guys how. Um, but it's really simple. One thing that I would pay attention to is where you save it because that it does matter. Uh, you need to make sure you know where that directory is or else you can't get all your torrents and your music and whatever. So you need to make sure you pay attention to that. And also the ask toolbar. Don't download that stuff. It doesn't help your computer at all. If, it'll make your computer slow and whatever, so don't do that. Uh, just click I don't agree and next, and it, you'll be fine. Um, Alright, so the interface of the interface of Frostwire 5.211 is about the same as the rest of them. Uh, there's some cool new features, some like kind of offbeat stuff. There, I added another search engine um, for, for, for torrents and um, searching it's better to search artists so like if I wanted to search Skrillex then it's better to search search file or for file searches you want to search artists and then for filters you want to uh, put in like the name of the song or whatever and Frostwire is really good for getting entire albums of music uh, they made it really easy in this so that's nice so if I could go like first of the year it's going to take a second. First of the year, Skrillex, Equinox, that would work. Um, you want good seeding. You want like your seeding to be, I mean, thousands is nice, but you're probably not going to get it. See, this one's got good seeding, so this one would download pretty fast. Uh, it's kind of big, it's 10 megs, which most songs are like 6, but uh, that's fine. Torrents generally are a little bigger anyways, so that's how you do that. Uh, some new features that aren't new to this version, but are new to Frostwire 5.2 are send to friend and send audio to iTunes. So you have to have iTunes open, but what you can do is open up iTunes and then right click on your music and go send audio to iTunes. Um, some other features are send a friend. So if I click on that, then it'll open up this and I can twit it, I can Twitter it, I can copy it, I can copy this up here and post it to Facebook or something. Uh, that's the same thing. And then copy magnet. I'm not really sure what that does. I think that's actually the link like to the song from the actual website that you got it, which is over here. These are all your websites that you're searching when you actually search for torrents. But that's kind of technical. Um, you don't. You might use this if you want to or something. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. Um, let's see. So there's send, send audio. The audio one's really nice because you can't drag anymore. So that kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Copy Magnet is just a shortcut for um, send a friend. And then there's all this. You can remove your torrent, remove your torrent, and your data, which actually gets rid of all the data on your computer. And advanced, you can um, set limits to how fast you want it to upload. Or if you are seeding, which you should be, um, you can set it to how fast you want it to be able to seed, and you can set it to how fast you want it to be able to download. Um, again... I wouldn't recommend doing either one of those, but you can. Your library looks about the same as before. Um, nothing really new here, except it's it's um, it's organized a little differently. You've got everything all in here, and you can actually have playlists now. So say I want like this song, and oh, where'd it go? So yeah, say I want a song in my. Um, to go into my playlist, I could just go add to playlist and then I can play it. Um, it's nice. I don't like iTunes, so I would pre I would rather use this. Uh, and see, you can send your music to iTunes in here, even if you don't have iTunes open. So that's nice. But 
Um, yeah, so as I mentioned before, they took away the drag and drop feature to iTunes, which is kind of a bummer, but they made it easy with the right click. So uh, that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.